Hello, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're going to be doing, we are going to be reading the story called Missing Mittens by Stuart J. Murphy and illustrated by G. Brian Harris. So what this story talks about is how to simply determine if a number is odd versus even. So we're going to do that in two ways today. We're going to talk about it using some manipulatives, and then we're going to talk about it using two simple rhymes. So first, before we start reading our story, we are going to use some manipulatives here to help us out. And I just put some Fruit Loops out there. And let's go ahead, let's count them and see what we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven Fruit Loops. So here's the big question. How is it even versus odd? Well, if we're thinking about an even number, we're going to be thinking about a number that every object in that group will have a partner. No one would be left out. Versus an odd number where there would be someone left out. So let's see, is the number seven even or odd? So let's see, when I partner them up, that means I'm gonna put them in a pair. That means I'm gonna put them in a group of two. So looking, they have a pair, they have a pair, they have a pair, but that guy, he's left out. So therefore, my number seven would be odd. All right, let's try a different number. So now I put some more Fruit Loops on there. Let's count and see what we have. One, two, three, four. So therefore, is four even? So let's pair them up. They have a pair. They have a pair. No one is left out. So it looks like my number four is definitely an even number. So we're pretty good with that. So now we want to get into our story. But before we do that, remember as I talked about rhymes, Rhymes are great, especially if you're dealing with a number that is greater in value. Could be a two-digit number, a three-digit number, a four-digit number, where it could be hard for you to have a lot of manipulatives available to determine if it's even or odd. So let's read our rhymes. This could help us. Even Stevens are so great. They end in numbers zero, two, four, six, or eight. Odd uh, Todd's are so fine. They end in numbers one, three, five, seven, or nine. So these are really good helpers, those rhymes, to determine if a number is going to be even versus odd also. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start our story, Missing Mittens. Farmer Bill was shivering. Snow was in the air. He looked out on the stormy day and wondered what to wear. Long underwear, said Bill, and my brand new coat. I'll get my hat and scarf and earmuffs, but I'm not ready yet. Where are my two mittens? Only one was there. Just one odd mitten by itself. One mitten's not a pair. So if you see, just one, remember, does not have a partner. So therefore, you're looking at an odd number. See the odd time? And then you have, you need that second mitten to make the pair. So two would be even. See how you see the two and even, Stephen? Bill went out to milk his cow, as cold as she could be. They looked for her four mittens, but there were only three. Only three odd mittens. They couldn't find one more. Any cow needs more than three. She needs an even four. So looking, the cow only had three. That's a pair. This one's left out. So three is odd. It's an odd Todd. You need that fourth mitten to make that pair. So four would be even. Even Steven. Next were his three chickens. 
They were huddled in their pen. They wished they had six mittens, two mittens for each hen. Bill looked and found five mittens, but they really needed six. Without an even number, one hen was in a fix. So look, there's our five. Partner, partner. There's missing one, so therefore five is odd. You need that sixth mitten in order to make it even so everybody has a partner. So see six is even. Bill went to see the horses. Both were shaking in their stall. Each needed four warm mittens. That's eight mittens in all. But there were only seven. One horse would catch a chill. Seven mittens for eight hooves? How very odd, said Bill. So here we go. See seven, partner, partner, partner. Whoop, somebody's left out. So therefore, seven is odd. You need that eighth mitten to make that final partner. So eight, and even. Where were the missing mittens? How could they be found? A mitten thief has been here. Bill scratched his head and frowned. We must get back our mittens. Hey, what is that goat doing? This is no time for breakfast, but it looks like he is chewing. Look at what he's chewing. All those missing mittens. Now every hand and foot and hoof was snug and toasty warm and everything was fine again. Until the next big storm. Well, boys and girls, I certainly hope you liked our story, Missing Mittens. I hope you liked our little lesson on odd versus even. And I always encourage you to try to practice some of these things at home. And until I talk to you again, have a great day. Bye, everybody.